to go swimming one day. And they didn't know how to swim. So they went out with the family. They were just so excited to go swimming because this was one of their first times going. They didn't know, they didn't understand the dangers of water if you didn't know how to swim. And so they get to the pool, one jumps in the five feet area, the other jumps into the eight foot area. And the rest of the family's just going about their day, not even realizing that for five minutes straight, these two boys were laying at the bottom of the pool dead. Eyes rolled into the back of their head, faces blue and purple, no life in them whatsoever. So the family finally realizes that these kids are in this pool with no life inside of them. And so they pull them out and they try to bring them back. And they end up having to take them to the hospital. The doctor said that even if they did survive, they would be vegetables. He said that they would be no good. They would not be able to live normal lives. And two weeks later, they end up recovering and everything ends up being fine. I'm saying this, I'm telling you guys this story to tell you that those two boys was me and my brother. And to come back from the dead with water filled up in our lungs, filled up in our brains, and for God to bring us back, for God to allow me to do this, speaks to me that nothing that comes in our midst can be powerful enough to overtake the power of God. There's nothing that he can't do when we put him in control. Nothing. So I want to empower everyone out here tonight and let you know something. Anything in your life that you dream to do, anything in your life that you aspire to do, when it lines up with the will of God, there is no one, there is nothing that can not bring, that can not, that can mess it up and cause it not to come to pass. The only thing that will is yourself. So I want to challenge you all to follow your passion. Find your purpose. Young and old, it doesn't matter. Find your purpose, follow your dreams, and watch God take it. This next song is dear to my heart because of this story. It's entitled Soul Redemption. 